Bolts, sharpen up a knife. Escape from the youngsters that eat me and the wife in me shed. Me shed, me lovely little shed. Might as well get a Chesterfield, a toilet, and a bed. It's the only place where I can go and tinker with me toys. Go and find solitude with a bunch of ugly guys. Hey, thanks for clicking on my video. Appreciate the support. Uh, in this video, I'll be reviewing my ATV tires. They are Bighorn 1.0 tires. And I uh, hope you guys stick around for the video. If uh, if you like the video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if this is the type of thing that you like. ATV videos, outdoor and uh, camping style videos. And uh, make sure to leave me a comment and maybe let me know what you thought of my review. And let me know the tires that you run and uh, the luck you've had with them. So stick around and uh, we'll get to the review. So I guess I should uh, give a little bit of a disclaimer here too. Is uh, Mine are the Bighorn 1.0s. I know I've said it about 10 times now, but uh, there's also a Bighorn 2.0 and a 3.0. Uh, I haven't owned either one of those, so I shouldn't, can't really talk on them. I just know that the 2.0s are a little bit lighter than the 1.0s, and from my experience, they don't seem to last as long, and they don't seem to be as puncture resistant, but that could just be with my experience with my friends. Uh, if you guys want to check out a good uh, review of the 2.0 and the 3.0, I'll put a link in the description to East Coast ATV. He, uh, he did a good review on those, and you guys should check out his channel anyways. He does some really cool trips, especially his one across Newfoundland. That's an awesome, awesome uh, series. I watch it every year. So give those a watch if those are the tires you're interested in, and uh, if not, just stay tuned for the 1.0 review. All right, so like I was saying, we're gonna review the tires. These are uh, Bighorn 1.0. My front size are 26 inch by nine by 12, so nine wide and a 12 inch rim. The rears are 26 by 12 by 12, so a little bit wider than stock. I think stock is an 11 wide, so yeah. The uh, one thing you should, guys should know with the big horns is if you get a 26 at new it's going to actually measure as a 27 inch tire just because of the design of the tire the lugs are right around an inch uh, around an inch high so get around an inch lug on each each tire I will say too as I'm uh, going over these tires I'm going to go back in the archives there and try and find some of my videos from all the different trips I've been on and the different uh, terrains you know what I mean like uh, snow deep snow like mud uh, sand rock a little bit of everything just to show you that I've had have had them in all kinds of different terrains and uh, yeah so I guess we'll get started here with just the just the design of the tire all right so these uh, the bighorn Max's bighorn 1.0s uh, I guess we'll just go over a little bit of the uh, the tread design and it's a semi-flat, non-directional tire. Uh, the tread design here, you'll have these like longer paddle tires, and then you'll have the smaller knobbies, which give you uh, good uh, good traction in pretty much all terrain. Also, uh, here along the sidewalls, you'll have extra protection coming down the sidewalls, which give it a stronger sidewall, and the tire gives it uh, the rim a little bit more protection. And also, if you're in the deep ruts, uh, these treads here along the side will actually help propel you uh, and hopefully get you out of the rut. <laughs> I'm in low. That was that was deep. So also with being a uh, semi-flat, non-directional tire, with uh, you know the treads being pretty spaced out there, it gives you a nice smooth ride. Uh, the big horns are also a radial tire, so it makes it even more smooth. The weight uh, for a 1.0 for a 26 inch size is roughly 24 pounds a tire. The fronts are going to be a little bit less than the back because the back is wider. Uh, if you guys were to go with the 2.0s, they're around 2 pounds lighter per tire. So if you had a smaller machine, maybe you didn't have as much power, uh, that might be a better way to go. And the 3.0s are a actually a pound heavier than the, than the 1.0s. All right, so my thoughts on these tires, since uh, I've given you guys my sizes, 26, 26 and, uh, all the way around, 9 inches wide in the front, 12 in the back, 12 inch rim, so 
Give you the sizes. Uh, this is actually the second time I've had these on my rot, my ATV. I had them on my old 2008 Grizzly. Absolutely love them. I think I put, I don't know, 4,000, 4,500 kilometers on them before I sold that bike. And uh, they still had lots of tread left on them. The guy who has the bike still has those same tires on it. So they last a long time. They are a, a long lasting tire. So if you're looking to get your, maybe a little bit more expensive than some of the other tires, but uh, they last, they do last a long time. I've never had a flat with one. I've ridden, ridden them in all, uh, all terrains too so like we have a ton of trails here in new brunswick and they're all really really nice like uh, a good mix of everything i've been uh just on old rail bed cruising on there steady pace and just uh you know a nice smooth ride they hook up great there i've been out in the beaches down in uh, martin head in sussex they hook up good in the sand uh, they don't uh, they clear out really well too if you have them in the mud some people, uh, that would probably be the only knock on them is a lot of people say they're not real good in the deep, deep mud. Me personally, I've never gotten stuck. I don't really drive into like little ponds and try and find mud that much. I'm not that style like uh, Asta Cruiser. I don't, I don't ride like that. But uh, if there's mud on the trail, I drive through and I've never had an issue. So they're not, uh, they're not as good as say, uh, you know, like a Grim Reaper or something like that that's meant for mud. You're never going to have a trail tire that's as good in the mud as a mud tire, just how it is. But uh, these are pretty good uh, in the mud too. And we're here. And here in New Brunswick we also have uh, groomed ATV trails here in the winter. So we have uh, the groomer will go in on all the same trails and they'll groom them down nice so you get a nice hard pack. They hook up really well on the groom trails. And even in deep snow, I, I've uh, I've always had good luck with them in the deep snow. So maybe a tire, if you're gonna be driving in a lot of deep snow, like maybe non-groom trails, you may wanna get more of a paddle tire. I've had uh, mud lights, although I didn't like that tire that much, the originals. Uh, in the snow and saw stuff, they're they're a really good tire. And if you wanted a tire that was, you know, had a paddle but was also a decent trail tire, a uh, Max's Zilla. That's a very popular tire too. So, so we've gone over hard pack, we've gone over sand, we've gone over snow. Uh, here in New Brunswick, we have tons of rocks, uh, especially over in Albert County. There's just tons and tons of rocks down in Hillsboro, and uh, I've been up to. Uh, to uh, Friar's Nose in Sussex. That's a, a giant rock in the middle of nowhere and uh, had absolutely no problems at all. So uh, if, uh, if people ask me, would I recommend these tires? I would absolutely re recommend these tires. I think they're a great all around tire. I don't think, I mean, there's all kinds of very good tires on the market, but these are the ones that I choose for my ride and I really, I don't regret it at all. They hook up good and uh, they last a long time and they, they don't seem to get flat. So I'm not saying these are the best tires. There's no such thing as the best tire, just like there's no such thing as the best ATV or side-by-side. -side. That's a load of BS. What's good for me may not be good for you in your style riding. Uh, if you guys watch, uh, say, Asta Cruiser, his four-wheeler and his setup with his tires and the power is a lot different than my setup and my tires and obviously I don't need that kind of power driving on trails. So if anyone ever says these are the best tires, they're just full of crap. So, but there's definitely lots of other tires out there. Uh, you could list off tons and tons of them now, but uh, there's some really good tires out there. I find the companies uh, do a lot more research. Like I remember back in the day, the badass tire you could get was the Bear Claws. Remember those Kenda Bear Claws? Everyone had them on their four tracks, Honda four tracks. and even sometimes you get them on the back of the big reds and the three wheelers and they, they did hook up good they were a pretty good tire too but uh yeah all right so that's the video i was trying to keep this one pretty short uh i don't think there's too much you can say about tires but uh i do like them i would recommend them for anybody who does the same style riding as me uh if you're a deep mudder then obviously you're going to want more of a mud tire so i hope you guys like the video uh definitely Hit the thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe, of course. It really helps out. Uh, 
and uh, leave me a comment. I love hearing where you guys are from. Let me know your experiences, maybe with the bighorns, one, two, or three point ohs, or whatever you ride. I love hearing from you guys, and I always try and respond to every comment. So, hope you guys like the the little review video, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.